So what is up Pimps Hoes and Buffaloes and welcome back today to another video. It's going to be a vlog. I'm going away tomorrow so this is sort of going to be the last vlog for a few days. We're going to have some fantastic content being shown to you guys here on this channel in the upcoming days. Some videos, some very funny videos between me, Elite Blades and the 8th Hawk. Some of you guys probably don't know who the 8th Hawk is. I did give him a mention the other day but we've been playing as the three of us quite a lot recently. And we've we literally made some pretty hilarious videos. These guys, mainly the 8th Hawk Elite Blades, edited one of them as well. They spent a lot of time editing some really funny videos that you guys are going to be seeing in the next two weeks whilst I'm away. So, the 8th Hawk right now is on 350 subscribers. I think that you guys, with my help, can push him towards 700 subscribers. He has done a lot of work editing these videos so that I could focus on doing prank calls for ready for when I go away for you guys to see. So please go and show the 8th Hawk and Elite Blade some support. They'll be in all of my videos basically coming up in the next few days. But um, now once we got that out of the way, I would sort of want to spend this time today talking just about YouTube in general. What an amazing six months it's been for me personally to see friends of mine doing so well as well, for example, I want to say congratulations to So Close to Toast. You put, you guys probably know who he is. He's just reached 200,000 subscribers. I've known the dude since way back before when we both had like less than a thousand. So not only is your own success on YouTube really like it makes you really happy and proud, but when you see others that are just generally humble people, friends of yours that you made through this YouTube thing, when you see them succeed as well, it's just as good. Which is why I always sort of try and promote my friends, my ch other channels that I enjoy as much as I can because, you know, it's it's okay being like happy with where you are, but it's also just as refreshing to see other people doing well. So, um, yeah, where have we gone from being this channel that was just talking about gameplay 24-7 to being this guy that's now got over 65,000 subscribers? Obviously, as a person, I don't feel any different. It doesn't really affect me in the slightest, but... To be able to say, when when people ask me, oh, what, what what do you do on YouTube then? Because, you know, I've been talking to some people that I'm going to be studying with next year when I go to uni. They've been saying, oh, what have you done then in your gap year? And I was like, oh, um, I focused on my YouTube channel. And they're like, oh, great, cool. What's that? What do you do? And I say, well, um, I do vlogs. I'm a troll. I make funny videos with Call of Duty. And uh, they're like, oh, okay. They, they have a look and then they see that I've got 65,000 subscribers and... They immediately become so much more interested. I know it's it's a weird thing to say, and don't don't take it the wrong way. I'm not trying to come across as arrogant at all. I'm just stating that it, it's just a really cool thing, you know, to be able to to be able to say that I've managed to get 65,000 people to subscribe to a channel that I run on my own. That they enjoy my content. It's just a phenomenal phenomenal feeling. And um, obviously, you guys know that tomorrow I'm going on holiday. So, like I said at the start, there's going to be a lot of videos, some really good videos for you guys to watch. But, um, for the last probably two or three weeks, I, you probably tell in some of my commentaries and some of my tweets and stuff like that, that I've been getting a little bit frustrated. And, obviously, I'm not the only one at this time of year when the games get old, when the summer's around, so everyone wants to be out doing things instead of being sat in front of a PC screen or on your phones watching videos on YouTube. But um, it always does sort of get you down slightly with lower views and lower ratings and stuff like that. But, you know, deep down, it's all part and parcel of this YouTube thing. You've got to take the highs with the lows. And when the lows come around, you've got to try your best to flip it over so that when the next high comes, it's even bigger and better than the one before. And obviously, in the first six months of 2013, my most successful series was the Peter Griffin in Black Ops 2 Lobby series. And people are always asking me, to bring it back, to make more episodes, and, you know, as much as it would be easy for me to go and do that, to go and get reactions in lobbies, I sort of, I don't want the whole voice and that series to completely blow itself out during Black Ops 2. I want to be able to go back when COD Ghost comes out with a completely new season of the Peter Griffin in Call of Duty Ghost lobbies, whatever it is, and then make the series as good as it was before, because when... <sighs> How do I say this? Um, sometimes with YouTube, even though I don't consider it to be my job, 
I, I could do it as like a part-time job at this moment in time, but I try not to. So obviously this holiday is going to be a really refreshing break for me because it's going to give me an opportunity to have to not make videos obviously while I'm away. I've already done that prior to it, but when I'm there, when I'm chilling out and stuff like that, that is always when my best ideas seem to come into my head. Some people, they like to be, you know, playing on the Xbox and then suddenly, ah, some like light bulb appears above their head and they've got a new amazing idea. For me, it's when I'm away from the screen, when I'm chilling out, that is when my best ideas come. So this holiday is going to be really nice, not just obviously to get new ideas for YouTube, but obviously being with Amy for two weeks on our own, it's going to be a nice little break. I'm going to really enjoy it. And I'm going to do some vlogs while I'm out there as well, but you know, sometimes, even though you're all going to say to me in the comment section, YouTube is not your job, don't take YouTube so seriously, but you know, when you've got, when you've built a subscriber base, like I have tried to do over this last 18 months, it's, it's very difficult to be away from it. You always want to get back, even if your motivation is like right at the bottom, you always want to go sign on, read some comments, respond to comments just everything like that. YouTube is this incredible, incredible thing. And if you're one of those people that doesn't know whether or not you want to start YouTube or you want to start YouTube and you don't, maybe you can't afford software and hardware and stuff like that, I'd literally just advise you to just make videos of yourself in your room. If, if you really want to do it that badly, then just go ahead and do stuff like that. It's an amazing thing to get involved with. And, you know, if you guys want to send me videos, I will always retweet it on Twitter as much as I can to try to help you guys out. But, um, yeah, this, is, this vlog's not really going anywhere anymore. I'm just getting even more soppy and shit like that. So, thank you very much for your support over the duration of this channel. This holiday is going to be nice. It's going to give me an opportunity to regain that passion to be in front of the screen and make some incredible videos, hopefully, for you guys when I get back. So... Thank you for all your support, and I hope you enjoy the videos while I'm away. Be sure to subscribe to the 8th Hawk and Elite Blades. Let's see if we can get those guys close to some milestones as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.